Hey everybody. I'm just getting set up and uh, calming down a cat. I don't know if you can hear him purring, but he's purring and I'm holding him. Uh, I will be on in just a second. I just need to get some last stuff set up, but I'm gonna be asking in the chat uh, what color you want me to crochet a bunny in first. But before that even gets going, let me know how the audio sounds. How is the music? Is the music too loud? Can you hear me? Is my voice crackly? Anything like that. Any kind of feedback, uh, much appreciated. I'll be on in just a sec. I see someone saying they can't hear anything. Can you still not hear anything? Sorry again, I, I'm, I'm just about ready to get going. I realized that I had kind of a mess going on in the background, so I wanted to clean up a little bit. <laughs> yes, see Jimbo agrees. Tell him Jimbo. Yeah. Uh, someone asked about if we could see Jimbo. We do have a cat cam today, but he is very active. I'll make sure to uh, have him say hi in the video before I get started, though. Sure, we're ready. Yeah. Okay. Jimbo thinks that we're ready. So let's say hi to the chat. Come here, bud. 
Come here. Come here. Hi, everybody. Oh. And hello from Jimbo, the most annoying, noisy cat in all the land that we all love so much. Yeah. You want to say hi? Say something again. Nothing? Okay. You go, you go do something else. No, 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 no. Not my legs. Don't attack my legs. Okay. <laughs> hi, everybody. How are you? Sorry, slow day going. I, you know what? It has been an insanely busy few weeks, actually, right? Yeah, he agrees. It's been a crazy few weeks. Um, uh, but I have been looking forward to a live stream all week. Stop! Don't chew the cords, bud. Come on. He's like, no live stream. Me stream. If you don't chill out, you know where you're going to have to go. Out. Okay, well, he'll figure it out, or we'll just have to deal with this. Um, stop. He keeps trying to bite all the cords. Um, hi everybody. Hello stream. Hello, hello, hello. So today, here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be crocheting without a cat distracting us the whole time. Ow, dude. You're being mean. Um, we're going to be crocheting some bunnies. So here's the thing. Last year, I crocheted a bunch of bunny bonimals and hid them at my mom's house and it drove her crazy and it was so much fun. So today I'm gonna to be doing that same thing. We're gonna be crocheting as many rabbits as we can today, uh, as many little tiny bunnies as we can. And here he is a chaos gremlin. Jimbo is absolutely a chaos gremlin. Uh, <laughs> now he's rolling upside down on the, on the cords connecting the camera. So, you know, let's hope everything doesn't unconnect um uh yes cooper is a little little uh preoccupied as well today so um i'll be handling as much as i can about links and whatnot uh but if you want to crochet along with me let's talk about that first and then let's talk about all the materials uh or let's talk about that how you can support this channel and then just get crocheting and we're gonna make as many rabbits as we can today and then i'm gonna hide them all over my mom's place on uh, probably on Sunday and uh, she won't be able to find them for weeks and it'll be super fun uh, <laughs> so first off what you need to crochet uh, if you want to crochet along with me all you're going to need is some worsted weight yarn and 100% cotton um, you can use any colors that you want the only thing is you need one that's your main color and then one that's your secondary color the secondary color is just to add the nose um, and then a finally you need white so you need white a main color and then a secondary color today uh, I am gonna have you vote on what our colors are gonna be um, throughout it so first off let me get the vote going do you want we're gonna ask if you want me to crochet our first rabbit in blue purple yellow or pink I felt like those were good colors so let's go ahead and do a poll real quick what colors first. We got blue, purple, yellow, and pink. Asked in the chat. Go ahead and vote now. Um, so that's what you're going to need as far as yarn goes. You'll also need a pair of scissors, of course. You'll need a crochet hook. I'll be using a size G, four millimeter crochet hook today. You'll need some safety eyes. I'm gonna be using eight millimeter, most likely all eight millimeter safety eyes today. I might do some that are six millimeter. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll see how many rabbits we make too. Um, uh, you'll need a very small amount of stuffing, a darning needle. I suggest using a crimped end darning needle like this to help you get in and out of hard to reach stitches, even though there is very little sewing in this pattern. Now I haven't made one of these in quite a while, so we'll see how it goes. The last thing that you're gonna want is some of these super duper strong magnets. And these are off optional, of course, but I do really like adding these super strong magnets on the inside of my bonimals because it lets them uh, cling onto metal surfaces, which 
for these rabbits especially means that we can hide them in some really crazy spots in my mom's place. So that would be hilarious. Um, so I highly suggest getting some super strong magnets as well. Ooh, okay, it's gonna be connected to our scissors, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> oh, I need to vote on what color I wanna start with too. Ooh, a lot of people are agreeing with me. That's good to know. Um, okay, so that's all the materials that you're going to need today. Uh, if you want to crochet, the pattern is totally free for this week. So I decided to make it free until Easter. So if you want to crochet this pattern, uh, you can find it. Um, I put the link in the comments. I put it in the description and you can also find it by just going to clubcrochet.com slash bunny. Um, that's where you can go. It should give you access to the pattern and uh, that's what I'm going to be working off of today. So let me go ahead and pull that up on my on my iPad here. Hello Becky, how you doing? Hello. Oh, hi Takoyaki. How you doing? It's been a long time Takoyaki. I hope you're doing well. Um, it has been a crazy long week for me, so I, I'm sorry I had to skip last uh, last Thursday, but I got some big stuff I'm working on, and it's just been a lot. Um, where do I get my magnets? Uh, I get them wholesale. Um, they are specifically they're 12 millimeters by like two millimeters, I believe. Uh, they're they're called neodymium magnets. I think you can probably find them on. Um, if you just Google them, um, maybe on Amazon even, uh, that's where you can probably find a lot of them uh, there. Da, 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 da. Okay, um, Georgie, uh, I'll answer that question a little bit. Now let me talk about how you can support this channel if you would like to. Um, everything that you see here is only possible because of support by viewers like you. I sound like PBS, but it's true. Anything, everything that you see, the only reason I can do it is because people help support financially. If you would like to help support this channel and you can't help support financially, that's no worries. I totally understand. Thank you so much for watching. If you can, please like this video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Uh, if this video gets uh, 250 likes, I'll do a giveaway next live stream. I'm noticing that something's wiggly, so I'm gonna see if I can move these over. Hopefully that helps the wiggliness. Yeah. Um, that's the best way to support if you can't support financially. And if you can't, again, I totally understand. Thank you so much for just joining and crocheting with me and, and enjoying the art of crochet. Now, if you can support financially, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. And there's a few ways you can do so. The first best way is with the Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library of tutorials. And next month, I'm going to be coming, or I guess like this month slash next month, I've got a lot of patterns that I'm working on right now. Like, I spent this weekend recording, I think, 20-something hours worth of video tutorials. So I have got quite a lot of, of tutorials on their way. And with a membership, you get access to all of them. I'm also updating a bunch of older patterns uh, with new tutorials and stuff. So I highly suggest checking out a membership. Members ship started only five dollars a month you can even get a free trial see if it's something you're interested in if you're not just cancel it anytime uh, but it's a great way to support the channel uh, other ways you can support the channel I have merch kits stuff like that in the store um, and oh yeah tip if you would like to you can tip the live stream um, you can do that by just going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. There's a link in the description. You can also go on the chat. There's a little dollar icon there uh, and you can do a super chat, which also supports me. And if you do either of those methods, I'm going to add something to our uh, background here that I always have up. Let's, let's go ahead and pull it up now because we actually already got one. Oh, Cooper. Cooper, thank you so much. It's crazy to me that Cooper can support and also he's he's currently dog sitting so thank you cooper you rock um we're gonna add something to the background for your cooper let's see what do we got here we want to do something that's got a magnet in it because hopefully soon i don't know if you're watching dad but hopefully soon my dad's been working on a metal tree that's supposed to go here so that all these guys actually have a tree that they're gonna go on. It's only been like three months, 
dad, but that's okay. Um, let's see, let's see. Why don't we add for Cooper for being our first support of the day? Let's add a let's add a rainbow a rainbow uh, uh, dragon that we made last week. Let's add that to the background for Cooper. So we're gonna add a rainbow dragon that I don't know if we named it, but we'll go ahead and place it right over here somewhere. Oh yeah, let's put it on top of this bunny, maybe. Like this. How's that look? Can you see it on the thing? Oh yeah, you can see it. Cool. That's gonna go there. It's getting pretty full. It's getting pretty full, which is which is pretty exciting. Um. Oh, hello. Philip is in the chat. Sir Pearl Gray. How are you doing, dude? I'm gonna hang out with you on Saturday. I'm so excited. Uh, okay, wait, let's end our poll. See what you guys voted on. Looks like we went with, what did we go with? Purple. Great choice. Good choice. That's, uh, that's um, my impression of Luigi from Mario Kart 64. Good choice. Uh, <laughs> can you tell I'm a dweeb and a half? Uh, yeah, Philip's coming down my way. And I'm super excited to hang out with him. We're getting dinner on Saturday with him and his partner, hopefully. Um, but thank you for joining. Cooper, by the way, or not Cooper, uh, Philip, by the way, is a uh, one of uh, another Amigurumi artist that makes some really incredible art. Uh, and we actually have a collaboration, a few collaborations that we're working on. So you should see those kind of soon, too. Um, okay, so we are crocheting a rabbit. Dude, you're going to have a really, really fun Saturday. Super duper fun Saturday. He's going to have, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be cool Saturday. Um, okay, so we're gonna be making our, uh, first our purple bunny. And again, I'm making, I'm trying to make a bunch of these. Um, I'm gonna try to go till, you know, I wanted, I was gonna only go till five, but I started so late. So let's try to go till six today and see how many rabbits we can make. I think we can get a pretty solid amount. Hopefully at least four, maybe five of these, because I think I can do one every half an hour. So that's what, that's the goal. That's the goal today. But I'm going to start with our purple rabbit and I'm just going to make ears. Now I'm not, by the way, if you are new to these live streams, um, speaking of, hello SF. 3 artiv thank you so much for joining the live stream this is their first live stream video how cool i hope you like it um i do not go i'm not going to go through the pattern in this in this video so i'm not going to be teaching how to crochet this because i have a full video tutorial that i've made for these and i just kind of want to hang out with you today so i'm not really looking to teach how to crochet in today's live stream although i sometimes do that um but today we're just going to be crocheting a bunny and or just crocheting a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, eight. Uh, what time zone am I in? Uh, I am in a Pacific Standard Time. I am out near LA. Uh, I used to live in San Francisco, but I just moved to LA in August. So I'm, or not, I'm not, it's not technically LA, but close enough. Um, Spoon Stitcher asks does the memberships renew automatically normally yes they do um uh if you had if, if you sign up for a membership it should renew automatically um it asks you though it, if you want it to renew automatically if you don't want it to renew automatically it'll cancel but um if you had a club crochet pro membership prior to me canceling it at the end of the year i gave all the people that had pro memberships free membership until april because i'm announcing something big in a few weeks um, I was expecting to announce it on April 1st, but I had to push it back a few weeks. So you might be asking that because your membership got canceled automatically. And that's because I gave you a free membership and then it canceled. So yeah, normally the answer is yes, though. It does. It should renew automatically. Um, are memberships yearly or monthly? Memberships are monthly. $5 uh, monthly. Um, I do have a new... 
a new um, offering, I guess, for memberships that I'm going to be announcing uh, next week. So keep an eye out there uh, for another option that you can do that I'm super, super excited about and working, I've been working extremely hard on it. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very excited about the future. Let's just go with that. Again, you'll, you'll hear more about that next week. All right, so there's one of our ears done already. That's a good start. Oh, dude, Takoyaki, you are, you know what? You are king of pod people. Well, you're king of a pod person place. Uh, I need to do a tutorial for pod people, like like how to crochet your own pod people because Takoyaki has taken it above and beyond. They are really, really good at making pod people at this point. Four, eight. And I'd like to make a full tutorial for anybody to get into like how to crochet your own yourself as a pod person or whoever they want. So hopefully, yeah. Becky, thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. Super duper appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really hope you like the future of the memberships, by the way. I, I got some cool stuff coming, so I really hope you enjoy it. G, are there gonna be any more podcast episodes? Yes, there will. Uh, Jules and I have been trying to figure out how we want to do our podcast in the future because we since we've moved we just haven't had a chance to do it honestly it's been over a year now since our last episode and she's been in san francisco doing a show um she is in a musical called merrily we roll along right now in san francisco and uh so she's been up there for a month and honestly it's just been so chaotic with the move and everything that we just haven't had a chance to figure it out um, but I have actually last week was talking to her about that and hopefully we will have a new episode pretty soon. Um, I have an idea of how I want the format to go a little bit more. Um, oh, Akari, how are you? Snail King. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I have an idea. I had some ideas how, of how we wanted to like kind of evolve how the podcast works. So hopefully that'll... I, I don't know. I just, I have some ideas of how, how I'd like it to go. And, and Jules has some ideas too. So we want to make, we just, we want to kind of like change the format a little bit. So it's less like serialized. I, that's kind of not what it means, but you know, something like that. So, um, Becky, speaking of the memberships are, am I going to be updating the Brontosaurus. Yes, I will. Wow. I don't know how you knew that. Maybe I've mentioned it before, but I, I will be updating the Brontosaurus. Um, the Brontosaurus, the uh, Triceratops, the T-Rex, and the um, Stegosaurus I am working on updating in the next uh, next month or so um, once I finish the, the project that I'm currently working on. Uh, that is the... That is up next for updates so as you can imagine there's quite a lot of of work to be done for those to make them look purdy again uh, but i truly believe in myself i think i think we can make something really cool with them so but good question yeah and f obviously feel free to keep asking me any of these questions i i love answering these questions this is a good opportunity for me to actually figure out for myself like okay wait how is this gonna work what's going next and stuff uh spoonie stitcher says i got them into amigurumi oh my god that is so cool yes sonheim for the win i agree that is very very cool though uh and her show by the way uh someone asked how her show's going uh her show is going very well um honestly better than expected just because it was a really really fast uh rehearsal time and stuff so it was kind of like oh is this gonna work out but it did it's it's going very well she got a bunch of really good reviews and uh yeah i think it's been pretty exhausting for her but rewarding also so i loved it i went up and saw it last week um and it was 
I mean, I cried. It was wonderful. I, I love, I, but honestly, I cry at like all of her shows, regardless of what the, what it is, just because I'm so proud of her. So it was just cool. <laughs> it was just really cool to see. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Krishandro, thank you, dude. You're, you're, thank you. That was really sweet. You, you rock. Am I going to be making a monomo? Uh, probably not today because monomos will be, they take a while, but I will, I would like to do another monomo soon. Uh, by the way, if you don't know what a monomo is, this is a monomo. Um, this right here is a monomo. It's a creature that eats bonomals. You can see all the bonomals in its gullet right now. Hey, there's a bunny right there. Someone tips, I'll add this bunny to the background. Uh, but yes, that's a monomal. Hopefully we'll be able to make more monomals soon. I definitely want to get back into making some more bags and stuff soon. That, gosh, there's just so many things that I want to make that I'm like, I don't know, man. I just want to make so many. I just want to crochet everything. Uh, we need to make the teeth. Where's the teeth? Oh, there it is. Buck to tooth. Okay. One, two, three. All right, Akari. Thank you for joining, Akari. I hope you have a great weekend. There we go. That's pretty good, okay. A tow truck Amigurumi. I mean, I definitely, the answer is I definitely could figure that out. But that does sound like a quite a um, an undertaking. That being said, I am uh, about like what I keep saying, and honestly, I can I can start to tease it a little bit more since it's coming out next week. Um, I'm starting to kind of like theme my seasons a little bit more, so like every season's gonna have more of a theme. So that we can make, I mean, I kind of already do that a little bit, but I don't really ever say that, you know, like we go through waves of just like crocheting dinosaurs for like a month or two, but I'm kind of starting to like plan that out a little bit more. And, uh, I've been asking a lot of people that are members, um, for their suggestions for future themes. And one of them, uh, that people have been suggesting are, um, or things like tow trucks and stuff like that. They, they want me to make like fire trucks and things. So that definitely could be in, in the future. It has been requested uh, by more than just you. So I know it's out there. <laughs> oh, the animationer is crocheting Angie the anglerfish right now. That's actually, uh, that is Sir Pearl Gray's pattern. And that's funny, I just crocheted an, uh, an Angie the anglerfish the other day actually. I love that pattern. That pattern is so cool. Highly recommended. Um, Linda would love a turtle bonomole. Well, good, uh, good to know, and you will not have to wait much longer. Let's just say that. And shark amigurumi. Also, you will not have to wait much longer. Animationer. <laughs> Uh, sorry if this is a weird question, but what do you aim for for your audience in this YouTube channel? Kids, adults, everyone? I definitely would say not. I don't think, um, I would say, hmm. I'm, this, this channel is definitely not geared towards children, towards kids. Um, and that's because, like, I would say you'd have to be at least at the, at the minimum eight and up to crochet some of my patterns. So... I try to make sure that this channel is like, I guess like kid friendly maybe is the answer. Like it's definitely not for kids though. I mean, some of the things I make are definitely not for kids, but I, I kind of try to put the philosophy much like the Muppets. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of Jim Henson Studios and the Muppets. They're, they're a huge inspiration to me in general. So I kind of look at my work in a very similar light of like it's not like the Muppets is not made for kids but kids definitely enjoy watching the Muppets but so do adults like I love watching the Muppets movies 
Um, I think they're hilarious, and uh, but they're not like, you know. So I think it's somewhere around that, like uh, for adults, but not excluding kids, something like that. Curious question, what's happening for the Stitched game? Good question. Um, so the Stitched game is not, it's not like on hiatus uh, in any in any manner. Like I'm still definitely working on it. I've just had so many other things that I've been working on that I just haven't had been able to put the time into it that I want to. Um, but I definitely have big, big plans for Stitched. Um, unfortunately, those plans will probably take until next year to like fully ferment for a lack of a better term uh that being said i have just released a few new patterns for stitched um i need to release the uh in the game rules for a few of the new characters that i announced um still but there's newly ad added um kobolds and dwarves and uh, a new character miniature dragons with that i'm going to be calling uh zippers uh so yeah that's kind of the that's there, there is some new stuff coming out for stitched but i definitely have some really really big ideas for stitched uh, in the future um including i've created some rules for turning stitched into a um like an actual, actually a role-playing game. So you can, you can actually, um, like tell a story with it. Uh, I'm not ready to release those rules at all. I still need to test it out a whole bunch, but since I've moved from San Francisco, I've kind of, I don't really have any friends to play the game a lot with. Uh, so I haven't really been able to test it out, test out all the new rules as much as I'd like to. So, I'm kind of looking for a a stitched buddy that, that's interested in continuously playing this game with me like every other week. <laughs> so, but it's hard to find friends. So, <laughs> what is stitched? SF asks. Uh, stitched is my tabletop game that you uh, make from home. It's war that you craft. You crochet a bunch of little characters and then you battle on this on the field uh, you make like goblins and trolls and stuff and then you roll dice to see how much damage you do if you want to learn all about it you can find it at stitchedthegame.com that's where i put like essentially like the play test rules i still am kind of updating those rules a little bit but that's a good place to get started if you want to learn more about it um okay okay now i'm on to i should keep track of where i'm at i'm going to use my check marks to because I, I, I just lost track of what round I'm on. Four. I think I'm on round four. Yeah. Um, someone asked... Someone asked a question. Do I have any tips for a Bonhamel Corgi? Because theirs passed away. Oh, I'm so... That sucks. I'm really sorry. That's, that's rough, Spoonie. Um, do I have any tips, though? I do have some tips. Uh... I would say the first, let me grab a couple of bonimals that I would say are close to it. So the first thing that I would say is, I think these are probably the closest to getting started um, with a corgi, uh, like a fox kind of idea is a good place to start. Um, basically, let's see, which pattern in the thing, the mouse pattern, uh, the mouse bonimal teaches you how to do a little bobble stitch for a nose which is how i made this bear here this is basically the mouse pattern but different ears um so i would say start with that use a bobble stitch for the nose use basically the mouse's body um as the as the main body which is going to get you something around this um and then do color changes where maybe like around round like maybe around round four or five change from orange to white use that and then for the ears use the pig ears uh the pig ears are really good for um like like dog ears uh so that's probably a good place to start for the tail um i would say do something like this fox tail i actually don't have this in the wet on the site but uh, i can tell you how to do it really quick it's basically just uh four single crochets in a magic loop and then a single crochet and an increase repeated each round for round two to get up to six stitches 
and then you decrease back down to four or and then you do one round for round three you do a single crochet in each stitch for six stitches and then in round uh, the next round the last round you want to decrease back down to four so you do a single crochet then an invisible decrease uh repeated twice to get back down to four and that'll get you like a kind of a fuzzy like a little tail that looks like really puffy um that's probably a good place to start uh I would also use the buck tooth pattern, like in this rabbit here, uh, in pink. That way you can get a little tongue. That would be pretty cute. Uh, I think that's probably a good place to start. I'll work on something though for you um, because I do think a corgi would be a really cute little bonomo. Yes, what Becky said, um, please never uh, talk about your age in the, in the chat if you can. Um, and just personal information in general, you just never know who's out there. So I'd just rather you be safe than sorry. Two, three, four, and five, and six. Uh, you have a question. Your granddaughter wants to make a vest out of granny squares. Hua. Um, that's an awesome idea. I think it's very, very, very doable. Um, a lot of people make them. Uh, and essentially all you need to do is make a bunch of granny squares and sew them together. It's it's not too tough. Uh, there's actually a lot of tutorials on, like if you just Google it, I bet you you can find a pretty good, easy tutorial for that. Um, Jules actually wants to do something similar. She wants to do granny squares to make a, um, to make shorts, which I thought was, oh, what a cute, what a fun idea. Um, Linda, how do you make the elephant trunk? Well, that I will be explaining pretty soon. Um, I guess I can try to explain it. Well, I'm working on I'm working on a tutorial for that. So so that should be up pretty soon, actually. Uh, oh, Valkyrie Kitty says that they want to see a pug. Well, I'll tell you what, if you tip, I'll I I'll show you a pug. I got one right right over there. It's looking for a home on this tree right here. <laughs> but I'll show you a pug pretty soon. I, I do have one that's made. Uh, what lightweight yarn would you use for a granny square vest? Um, since it's going to be a vest, you don't want it to be something extremely warm because you don't really wear a vest in the heat, right? So I would say probably something that is a little bit more airy. Honestly, a cotton yarn, probably not, not too bad of an idea. It'd be cheap. You could find a lot of different colors and it's not going to hold in a lot of heat because you don't really need that for the vest anyhow. Um, so that probably is not a bad option. 100% cotton worsted weight. Uh, if you want something a little bit more like flexible or stretchy, you might want to use maybe like an acrylic wool blend or something like that. Um, maybe even a silk. That might be really cool. That might be really expensive though. Um, I mean that silk is not going to give you the flexibility though. Silk is actually not very flexible at all. So a bamboo actually, a bamboo cotton blend might be really, really good. Uh, it's very lightweight, very clean, uh, and and has the the bamboo gives it a lot more flexibility. So, uh, is the trunk done in a similar way to the valves on the human heart? Yes, it is, Cooper. Thank you for asking. That is absolutely kind of how it, it is made. Oh, Peachy, how you doing? Thanks for joining. <laughs> Thank you for joining, Peachy. Hope you're having a great day. Aw, oh, Jimbo is asleep, not in his bed. And he's you gotta go to sleep in your bed, my dude. Uh, Takoyaki, I'm very iffy on patterns sold with my, like using my patterns as a base. I, I very much am like, I don't know about that. Could you, why don't you email me? Uh, let's talk over email about it because you're kind of a different situation. Um, but I, I do, I don't love it when people make like sell patterns where they use like mine as inspiration. Oh, I think we got it. Let's see. Let's do a little test here. Hold on. Oh yeah. We got a cat. We got a cat. Look at that boy. Look at that little boy. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Okay, cat cam is a go. 
Let's see how long that lasts for. Um, but yeah, please email me, Takoyaki, and we'll talk about it. Oh, thanks, Animationer. Yeah, I try to take my time with tutorials. Um, I just know how frustrating it can be when you do a tutorial and they go like way, way too quick. And I have to say, I have made that mistake a pretty decent amount in my tutorials of going way too fast. So if you ever have that problem with my videos, um, you can slow my videos down, by the way. But uh, let me know. Like, I, I, that's something I don't want to... I, I want to do the best I can to help as many people as possible learn to crochet. So. I'm always looking for ways to improve. Uh, so if you're ever seeing something in my video that you're not like, hey, could you go a little slower? Just let me know in the comments uh, and just please be kind. Um, I do get some comments every now and then that are not very nice. So it'd be nice, it'd be nice if you could be nice for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm always down for uh, criticism. Maybe not criticism, constructive criticism. I'm, I'm always down for constructive criticism. <laughs> just don't be mean uh linda do you have to be a member to test lava run no you don't um linda just email me louis at club crochet.com i'll send you over the rules to lava run uh i am always looking for more testers for that game so yes i'm very much interested in uh, i i'd be happy to send you it and um get your get your opinion and advice on it so yes please please feel free to reach out and uh, I will send you over the rules for that. Um, by the way, if you don't know what she's talking about, that is another board game that I'm working on called Lava Run, where you're a dinosaur and trying to escape a volcano. It's much more, what's the word? Not like kid friendly, but much more uh, accessible. Let's go with that than stitched. It's, it's a lot easier to get a hang of. Um, and I'm actually, I wouldn't say I'm more proud of it, but I do think maybe it's like a better game than Stitched just because it's, the, the sim it's much more simplified. So, but yeah, just email me uh, and I'd be happy to. Again, my email is louis at clubcrochet.com. Uh, you can also probably find that on the website or you can just email the contact email that goes to me also. So just email me there. Love the cat cam, me too. Okay, so let's add our face now. I believe we're gonna start by adding the eyes. So we're gonna start with eight millimeter eyes. By the way, bottle eyes, I'm running really low. I just put in an order for some more bottles of eyes, but I still have about, I think I've got like 10 to 20 left that I found in storage. So if you would like to purchase a bottle of eyes, um, they're available in the shop. We have eight millimeter and six millimeter eyes available. Um, and I'm actually the one that puts them together. So if you purchase anything from the shop right now, I'm the one shipping it to you. So feel free to say hi and I'll send you, I, I like to send a little thank you sticker and stuff. So yeah, also it's a great way to support the channel. Like I said before. All right, so I'm gonna add the eyes. Now I'm gonna start with my eyes going like forward, just a very simple, normal bunny to start. And then in the future, we'll make some weird bunnies with little eyes, cross-eyed and whatever. But for the start, let's just start. Let's just start pretty easy. I think it'd be really nice to get at least four of these bunnies made today uh, because four seems like a good amount of bunnies to hide in my mom's place. I might be able to get more done, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully she doesn't join these, this live stream. So she doesn't know our plan. I saw her yesterday and she said she's busy today, so I was like, okay, good. She won't see the live stream. She won't know of our nefarious plan. Oh, thanks, Georgie. I appreciate that. Oh, Georgie, you asked about um, one of the patterns being free. Uh, I think it was... You said some pattern you won. Oh, the owl burb. Um, you asked about that pattern. Uh, that pattern probably won't be free. It's more of a complicated pattern of mine, and you got to make money somehow. So... It's only $3, $2.99. It's not even $3 exactly. <laughs> and you can even get it with a Club Crochet membership. So 
if you really want some of my patents for free, don't tell Louie this, but I'll give you a secret. What you really can do is you can create a trial on my website, create a membership, start a trial, and then just cancel the trial before the trial ends, and then you can download patterns within that seven days. Or, or you know, it's an option. I don't, you know, I'd, I'd much rather you purchase my patterns and support this channel, but I get it. You know, I've been young and not had very much money before. That being said, they are only three bucks, so it's not very much and a great way to support the channel. Okay, so next we're gonna be adding our mouth here. I think the way I wanna do it is I think we wanna start with our, I can't remember how I did this actually. I think I start with these two ends and I pull them through these two sides like that. And then I put the tooth, or do I do the tooth first? You know what, let's do the tooth first. The tooth goes between these two. Yeah, we'll do that first. So that way the tooth is, we can be certain that the, certain, we can be certain that the tooth is under the, the, what did I call this? The jowls. Bunny jowls. Bunny jowls, band name? How do we think, what do we think about bunny jowls as a band name? Yes, it is free to sign up for the website. And it is and it's free to start up with a free trial. You need to add your credit card, but if you cancel it before seven days, uh, it's not a big deal. It won't charge you. But again, it is a great way to support this channel and I wouldn't be around without the support. So highly suggested if you can support, please do. Okay, there's both the teeth ends through there. I, I really was putting some muscle behind that. There we go. As you can imagine, it is not easy to be a full-time crocheter financially, so that's why I'm always asking for support. It's like, it's not easy to do it without it, so. Curious Snail donated, thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that, Cooper, and I super appreciate that, Curious Snail, thank you. Uh, and I made a promise. I said I'd show up a pug for a donation. So Curious Snail, this is for you, an adorable little pug, and someone was asking to see the pug. Here is your, here's the pug pattern, and actually, the. This entire pattern is built using the bottomless pattern. Um, it's using the jowls for the nose. Um, this is using the buck teeth from this from this pattern actually, uh, and then the ears are um, the ears are uh, I think they're bunny ears or I mean not they're mouse ears maybe. Oh no, you know what? These are also the this is also the same pattern as the tongue, uh, just in brown, and the same with the tail. It's it's also the same way to do it. So. Yeah, it's, it's actually all made using, actually everything that's used in this pattern is made using stuff that I've used, I'm using for this bunny pattern. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we're gonna add this to the background for you. Curious Snail, we'll add it to the top of this dragon's head. Oh, you can't see it, oops. There you go, right here, there is your Pug, a curious snail. I gotta get you some snails. That's what I really gotta start making. I gotta get some snails for you. And Akari, I know Akari also wants a snail. Um, sign up is free on the website uh, for just a free account. You can get a free account, you get a membership. Free accounts don't give you nearly as much access on the site, but a membership does. Um, but it is free to sign up for a membership. Uh, da, 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 da. Do we accept PayPal? We do accept PayPal. Yes, we do. Um, okay, so now we want the jowl sewn on over the teeth like that, right? Um, by the way, Cooper, thank you for jumping in there and saying, hey, tooth, tooth first. It's very helpful. I appreciate that. Um, I have something I also want to show you after I'm done with this bunny that I got made. Um, I haven't had a chance to get them onto the website yet, just like the stickers, but 
I do have something cool that I've been that I got made for y'all. Oh, Becky, you want something in the background for becoming a club crochet member? Sure thing. Um, how about we do? I'll just I'll add something very small in the background for that. Are you in the for becoming a member? Yeah, I really wish there's a something that like popped up and let me know when there was a new member. Um, maybe that'll be something I'll work on soon. Uh, because that would be cool to add something in the background for becoming Cup Crochet members. Um, why don't we do... What if we did a pom-pom? I've been collecting these little pom-poms here for people that become... Uh, that tip for less than $10. Um, I think this would be a fair thing to add for members. Uh, and then every... If you want to shout out every month that you continuously become a member, maybe we could add more pom-poms. I don't know. Could be a good way to like do that. Uh, I'll go ahead and add this pom-pom is for you. We'll add it to our pom-poms there. And then hopefully when we have a tree, dad, oops, there we go. Once we have a tree, we're going to add all these pom-poms to the tree. So it should like flush the tree up. So I'll add that into the background, uh, which will come into fruition eventually. Um, what is my PayPal? Our PayPal is, uh, I think it's just Louis at clubcrochet.com. Um, uh, you can find it through the website if you want to. And Samantha, I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to you soon enough. Um, I, I, I've been meaning to get to you about, um, you had questions about moderation and stuff, and, and I'm sorry I've taken so long. It's just been a very difficult couple of weeks. So uh, I'll try to get back to you this week about all that stuff. I think we talked a little bit about it, but... Um, oh, thank you for, thank you for doing that shout out there note. I appreciate that. Or not, not Tay. So not Tay. <laughs> All right, there's the nose. We're gonna add a little bitty, um, or there's the jowls. We're gonna add a little nose on top of those jowls. I think we should just do pink. A pink nose for a bunny, it just, it just makes sense, guys. It's just common sense here. So we'll just do a little pink nose. Are we doing a giveaway? Uh, no, because I don't think we got enough likes last live stream. Let me check. Um, I don't have a giveaway set up though. But I could, I could do a giveaway if we have unlocked one. Let me, let me see. We needed 250. Yeah, we only got 216 last live stream. So I'm holding to my guns. 250 likes gets us a live, uh, gets us a giveaway. And I'll show you what we will be giving away if we do get to 250 in just a sec. Once I finish our bunny here, we're gonna start right here. And there. It's very cute. I'm super duper proud of it. I also figured something out earlier this week using one of uh, one of uh, a, a stitch that Cooper made called the bean stitch. I figured out something you could do with it this week and I'm so proud of it. It's like one of those moments that I was like, <gasps> innovation, I have innovated a stitch. Like I didn't create it, but I, I texted Philip and I was like, did you know you could do this with your stitch? And he was like, whoa, very cool. It unlocked, it's unlocked a bunch of different things for me. I'll show you it in a little bit. Um, okay. Double knotting this pink to get our little nose. Oh, that's cute. Very tiny, but very cute. Oh, Valkyrie, your first thing to make was the Triceratops. Love it. That's one of my faves. That's one of a lot of people's faves. There we go. The bean stitch, it is a stitch that Philip made to make uh, little toe beans for his 
uh, pieces. They're it's kind of like a like a the like somewhere in between like a bobble stitch and not a bobble stitch. It's basically like this. I'll show you. I'll show you how to do it really quick. So this is how you do a bean stitch. You go into the stitch, into the next stitch, to do a single crochet, like that, and then you yarn over, go into the same stitch you just went into right here. Yarn over again and pull a loop through. And now you're going to have this just like bunch of stitches on your hook. Like see all the stitches there. And then you can yarn over and pull through all the stitches using a scoop like that to really get through them all. And see, it makes kind of like a very tiny little bump. It's very, very subtle. But when you add a bunch of them to your patterns, they look really cool. And what I figured out you could do with this is that this loop in between this little bump is actually a loose loop on the inside. So what you can do is you can pull it out like this and it creates a loop. And so you can, if you had a bunch of them all over your piece, you could just have a lot of loops everywhere and you can actually cut this loop and both ends of this loop are like stuck on the inside. And it's a new way to make like fur or grass or whatever to your patterns. It's really cool. I used it for a cactus that I'll show you um, once I'm done with this bunny. I'm working on a bunch of cactuses right now. Uh, very useful though, very, very useful. Insect patterns, takoyaki, absolutely. I was actually thinking the other day how crazy it is that I don't have insect patterns. And really, the reason I don't really is because Jules is really scared of bugs. But that shouldn't stop me from making some cute bugs. A little cute spider, a little cute jumping spider. That'd be so cute. I like spiders. Jules hates spiders. She thinks they're the worst thing in the world. I disagree. I think they're adorable. Well, some of them. Some of them I definitely don't think are adorable because I'm not a psychopath, but jumping spiders are very cute. I found a bunch of black widows the other day. Not cute, not cute. Very, 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 very not cute. <laughs> Furthest thing you could get from cute. There's one bunny ear. <gasps> stick bug. You just got stick bugged. I like stick bugs. All right. Okay, one ear is attached. Next ear. Oh, I had like some fuzz coming out of the top of his head, but it must have gotten pulled back in when I was messing around. Stitch. How's our Jimbo, by the way? Oh, he's so cute. Oops. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys, by the way, so as some of you guys know, I'm, I'm like basically addicted to playing Super Smash Brothers. And I'm very good at it, but I'm pretty much addicted to it. I need to chill out. But I reached out to a to a YouTuber that is a, that specifically plays Super Smash Brothers, and I asked if he wants to do a challenge where I'll we'll play a best of ten, and if he wins, I'll crochet his main. And he said yes. So I'm gonna try to record it next week. I hope I win. <laughs> I told him like if I if he wins, I'll crochet his main character, which is Lucina, which is. A boring character to crochet but whatever hopefully I won't have to do it um, but if I win I told them well you just lost to a crochet youtuber <laughs> and I thought that's when that's enough punishment in and of itself <laughs> let's see if we do that who do I main in smash I main Yoshi 
Uh, that's actually the only character I play in Super Smash Brothers. I don't, I'm not very good at playing any other characters, but I am very, very, very good with, uh, with Yoshi. Uh, do I play, have you ever played Cuphead? Yes, I have, but I kind of quit because it was too hard. That game is way too tediously difficult for me. But, God, the aesthetic is so good. 10 out of 10 aesthetic for a game. Have I ever made Toad from Mario? I have made Toad once. Um, I have to do... I, I should get back into crushing Mario characters again with a new movie coming out. Uh, I'm so excited, by the way. I've been kind of, like, not trying to think too much about the movie because I really want to see it with Jules and she doesn't get back till Monday and I'm like I want to see it though so I've kind of just been like ignoring it but not really because I just want to see it Ooh, mosaic crochet live stream I've got something similar that I'm working on actually that kind of works like that so your dreams might be answered soon Samantha I agree, that song was Chef Kiss. Ooh, Valko Kitty plays DDD and Kirby. I love DDD. I kick DDD's butts, though. And Kirby's always fun. I be seeing Mario movie on Saturday. Heck yes. How cool. Does it come out tonight? I thought it came out on third. I thought like all movies came out on Thursdays, but I'm not sure. Okay, we're almost done with our first rabbit. This one took a little longer than I wanted it to, but I think we can go a little quicker from here on out. Again, I think I'm only gonna try to go to um, 6 p.m., which is another two hours from now, and just see how many rabbits we can make for that. Uh, someone said, how did I learn to make my own patterns, Misty asked. Um, I actually, if I'm being completely honest, I pretty much started making my own patterns. Um, when I first started crocheting, I learned how to do like the basics. Uh, I learned how to do single crochets in the round. And then I kind of just made stuff up after that. I was like, okay, well, what happens if I do like a yarn over before I go into the stitch and then do a yarn over and pull through? And then I figured out, oh, that's the half double crochet. I, I just didn't know it. I just kept doing stuff like that. And then I started to just make stuff up. I, I made like a little mouse and then I made a an owl for like a big owl. It was like this big. I have it somewhere actually. It's like this big of an owl. Uh, and I made like panda bears and, and, uh, and then I did a beanie pattern. I just kind of like started experimenting until I figured it out. Um, Honestly, my process of learning how to crochet and learning how to design amigurumi was a lot of trial and error. That's what I did. I don't necessarily think that's the best way to go about it, but that's what I did. I did a lot of trial and error and figuring it out um, by just trying over and over. Um, I do have some tips though that I'm working on a, a series of videos about how to design amigurumi and uh, and how to um, market, like how to, like basically how to be an amigurumi designer in general. Not not just like how to actively design them, but like how to make money off of it, how to like design your patterns, how to get your photographs, how do I record my videos. Um, I'm, I wanna do a whole series like that, a designer tier series, uh, but you know, I got a lot of stuff that I'm working on before then. I totally feel that EBG Studios. Um, I do this. I do. I do the same thing. It's, it's, it's a little rare that I crochet other people's patterns. Um, but sometimes I do, especially with Phillips. Um, I, I do like to crochet Phillips patterns a lot because he makes some really cool ones. And, uh, and other, other artists that are like friends of mine, I like to try their patterns out. And I learn so much when I do that. Every single time I crochet someone else's pattern, I'm like. Oh, that's a really clever way to do the stitch. So, uh, I suggest it, obviously. I mean, I make patterns. 
but um, but I get it. I totally get where you're coming from EVG um, I was gonna put this in there but I actually shouldn't yet I want to do them around first and then and and I can't forget to do magnets um, instead of doing normally I try to do two magnets on the top of the head and then two magnets on the bottom so that they can be stacked on top of each other but these rabbits are gonna be specifically used to hide around my mom's place. So I'm gonna instead just do three magnets on the bottom of all of them so that they can all like stick to stuff, you know? Cause there's not really gonna be any use for them to be stackable um, as much as I'd rather them be like super strong at like sticking to things so that I can hide them really well. Am I live streaming next week? I think so. Um, yes, I don't know if I have it completely planned yet because the week after that we're going to be doing our um our earth day collaboration oh boy i haven't even finished my pattern for that i i'm i'm literally getting warm thinking about how i have to do that uh but <laughs> um yes so mate the answer is most likely um, if I do live stream next week, I'll let you know on Monday or Tuesday by getting it prepared. And it will be, um, it will be a, uh, on Thursday at 3 p.m. So same time, same place. And, and I'll, and I'll keep you notified about that, obviously. Oh, shoot. I forgot to do an email. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, I, Jimbo's like, you're an idiot. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up, bud? Dang, I totally forgot to write the email for today. Oh man. Rats. Oh well. I'll write an email for later tonight. Alright, Takuyaki, thanks for joining. Yeah, email me soon. And thanks for join thanks for coming back into the live streams. I I've missed you, so thanks for joining. I know it's not like the best time for you, so. Yeah, okay, buddy. Jimbo's like, eh. What was my first crocheted buddy? I believe my first crocheted thing that I made was an octopus. Um, that was actually really, like, a lot. Uh, it was, bi it was like, this big. And it made, like, a bunch of tubes uh, for the legs. I think that was my first crocheted piece uh, and then I quickly after that did a panda bear um, which I started that's when I started to experiment with color changes uh, and I gave that to a friend of mine Nick England it was a red panda bear it wasn't a red panda it was just a panda bear with red yarn because I didn't have black yarn uh, and then and then I made a bunch of things for this girl that I had a crush on in high school uh, like a lot, like way too many things. Uh, and it worked. We dated for three years. It was a, not a good relationship, but I got crochet out of it. So what are you going to do? Ooh, Crochandro is, is ahead of me so fast. I'll try to get to you. Uh, I'll try to get back to you, um, by the end of this weekend, Samantha. I got a lot of a lot of things on my plate though, so I'm sorry I take so long to respond to stuff. Um, okay, there's our bunny started. Let's go ahead and add their super strong magnets, which I don't even know where I put them. Did they fall or something? Hmm. Okay, well I got. I got some more over here, so I guess we'll find them when we find them. Hmm. They were attached to my scissors, I remember. But I don't know where they went. My neighbor, I swear to God, my neighbor blows, he does, he, he blows his leaves every damn day he blows his leaves it's so ridiculous i'm like what are you there's not any leaves there man wait a couple of days you don't have to do it every single day but every day at 4 p.m he starts blowing his leaves for like 
half an hour. And it's the silliest thing to get frustrated by, but I'm like, dude, chill. Speaking of, hi. Hi. You want to say hi to the chat? Yeah. Okay. Hi, buddy. He's very purry. What? Yeah. Thank you. So sweet. Such a sweet boy. Lots of licks. Okay. I gotta get back to work. I'll tell you what. That boy has been so attention-y since Jules has been gone. She's, he's like... I missed another person's attention. Don't bite me. He keeps rubbing his face on my leg, but I, I know what that means. It means play with me or I will start nibbling on you. And I don't like that, buddy. I don't like to be eaten. Yes, Ivy. Yes, Club Jimbo is definitely Club Crochet's unofficial mascot. I would agree with that. It just feels like a, the, the back to the leaf blowing thing, Valkyrie, it just feels like a waste of energy. Like, why are you doing that? It just feels like, like a waste of time and annoys me. Like I can't record videos at four, but am I tired? I'm always tired, dude, always. But I do have some coffee in me, so I'm feeling a lot better. There we go. First bunny's done. He's. Ooh, that's a good, that is a good connection too. That means that we do not have to worry. We can hide this one really well. So first purple bunny done. Uh, okay, so couple things. First off, yes. Okay, Jiminy Cricket, stop it. Stop, relax, be good. Stop! We're gonna vote on what color to do next. That's what we're doing. Yeah! Okay, so our options are we can do a pink bunny. Yes, a yellow bunny. What's the last one? Blue? Okay, what about... Okay, yeah, we can do green. Let's ask them, though. Let's ask them. Okay. In the chat, vote what color bunny you want me to crochet next. I'm gonna vote that color. And then in the meantime, while y'all are voting on that, uh, ooh, Kershandro, good, good point. Like this video. Go ahead and do that real quick. I'll wait. Thank you. And I wanna show you something that I, sh I should have in the shop right now. I'll try to get it into the shop next week. Um, but I got pins made. I got Jimbo pins made. Look at how cute this is. Look at that. It's so cute, look at his little butt. I got Jimbo pins made. Ah, uh, uh, look at how shiny and beautiful it is. So, yeah, these should be in the shop, uh, hopefully by next week. Yeah, hopefully. Mm, I know. Um, but I'm really proud of them. I just think they look so freaking cute. So cute. Okay, come in, come in ASAP though. Same thing with stickers and stuff. Jiminy Cricket, my dude. My dude, why? What are you being a whiny baby about? Always so whiny, always such, such baby, much whiny. Jeez Louise, dude. Thank you. Giving lots of licks. And even more bites. I love you. See, this is all he wants. All he wants all the time is just to be held. Sometimes, like, literally, Two hours of the day, I'll hold this freaking boy like a baby. 
and just bump him, bounce him around like this. So that he'll shut up. Because that's all he ever wants. He just wants attention. He just wants attention. He's just dying for attention. Oh no, what are you going to do? Whatever will you do, my little boy? Yeah, no, I think I think we're not gonna hold you anymore. Not for a little bit, bud. Go to your go to your bed. Oh, that's so cool that it looks like your cat too, Valkyrie. Valkyrie says that her cat looks like you. Not not just like you, but pretty close. Isn't that great? You have a twin. He's showing very little interest in that. I'm sorry, Valkyrie. Um, okay, let's see what color you guys chose for our next bunny. Yeah, you're right. It was pink. You're so smart. You're the smartest boy in all the land. You're welcome. Wow. Wow, Jimbo. Oh, wow, Jimbo. Wow, you're so smart. Are we going to do light pink or dark pink, do you think, bud? I don't think we have one that's like this sharp pink. But I guess this pink on the left is a little bit more Eastery, don't you think? Dark pink? Okay. Jimbo thinks we should do dark pink. So we're going to do that. All right. Uh, how, where, how do we start? Hey, don't do that. He's nibbling on this dragon's leg. It's a poor boy. Poor dragon. So rude, dude. Such a rude dude. You are a rude dude. Here. Okay. Ready? Ready? Go. Okay. Maybe that'll distract him for two seconds. Two seconds. Oh my god. Oh my god. You, oh my god. I wish you guys could see this. I threw a baby dragon and he's playing with it right now and it's in his hands. Oh my god. It's so He's like an otter with a with a oh my heart what a good boy okay god i wish you could i wish i really really wish you could have seen that and now he's cleaning his butt so not as cute one two three four five six seven and eight second bunny coming your way This is how I did it. I don't know if I'm gonna need the pattern anymore. I think I can do it without it. I believe in myself. I set up the camera today to be, for some reason, to be directly in front of my face. So I keep having to like look around the camera. I don't know why I did that. Because I wasn't thinking. I miss in the thinky thinky part. Like a koala. Did you know that koalas... A scallop, that's the word I was looking for. Um, do you know that koalas have smooth brains like a... Like a baby's butt? They're dum-dums. Koalas are such dinguses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. They don't got the thinky thinky part. Just like Jimbo. Big doofuses. Doofusai? Doof, doofi. Doofuses. Oh, I'm so excited to hide these in my mom's place. She used to do this all the time. Every Easter and uh, St. Patrick's Day and stuff, she'd hide things around the house for us to find. 
Uh, Easter, obviously, it was like Easter eggs and stuff. We'd have we do giant Easter egg hunts in the backyard. But on uh, St. Patrick's Day, she'd hide a bunch of gold coins all around the house. And so last year when I did this, when I hid a bunch of bunnies around her place, she was like, it was, she was going crazy. It was hilarious because she was like, what? You hid them? How many did you hide? Where are they? And she was looking forever for them. And so I told her, I think I hid like three of them, but I told her I hid five of them. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's so a good stuff good stuff all right where are we at what are we doing here what where am i who am i what what's happening hey i don't know what am i doing for easter i'll be going to my uh friend my family friend's uh place for easter uh and probably just we're just gonna do brunch and Maybe they'll do an Easter egg hunt. I don't really know, but it'll be pretty relaxed, I think. Pretty, 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 pretty good. All right. Schnauzer is done. We got a nose. Or I guess a, a jowls. Next we need... Next we need, oh, the teeth. Of course, of, of course, of course, I was a horse, of course. What is my favorite kind of chocolate candy? Ooh, probably Reese's. Oh, I do like Kit Kats though. What's your favorite kind of chocolate candy? Yeah, you're right, good answer. You can't eat chocolate, he's so smart. Wow, I've really raised a just a genius of a cat. Such an intelligent boy. Jimbo, what is... Oh, he, he, hold on. He's eating his armpit. I was going to ask him about uh, nuclear fission. He has very strong opinions on nuclear fission. Because he's just so smart. <laughs> okay, so there is all the body parts for our next bunny. And let's started on the body itself can you crochet scissors i don't know if you can crochet scissors that would work but you can definitely crochet scissors i don't i honestly have a hard time thinking of anything you can't crochet crocheting is like so versatile one two three four five and six one two three four five six yep I like bunnies too. I like bun. I used to have a bunny. I okay. Semi sad story coming up. Um, sorry, but also, I like bunnies, and I used to have bunnies when I was a kid. I had two bunnies. Uh, one of the bunnies, unfortunately, one of the dogs got to, and it was just a really big bummer. The other bunny, uh, we had him in the backyard. I I loved them. They were so cute, and. The second bunny we had, I can't remember what his name was, but it was so fluffy and had really, really long fluffy ears and it was brown and white. And one year, uh, its back got broken. It was so sad and, and so we had to put it down and it was just such a bummer. And for the longest time, like the longest time, I thought that my cousin Sarah had tried to grab my bunny and broke its back. And so I always blamed my cousin Sarah for it. A few years ago, like probably, maybe like five years ago at most, this this was by the way, when I was a kid. So I was probably seven or eight years old when this all happened. When, just a few years ago, I was getting dinner with my mom and she said, she said something about when she broke my bunny's back. And I looked at her like, wait, you broke the bunny's back? And she went, oh, oh, like that? Like she knew, stop it. She was wrestling the yarn. 
she knew she knew she made a mistake and she was like I um and I was like I thought it was Sarah for the longest time and she was like I know I'm sorry <laughs> and I was like you lied it's crazy because my mom doesn't lie about like she doesn't do well I guess she didn't really lie she just never told me the truth and uh, yeah it was a big reveal big reveal stop eating the yarn Jimbo this is not food I know it looks like noodles not noodles Back it up. Gosh, what a, what a weasel dude right now. I've been doing this thing recently. Uh, yeah, that's that's what it is. It's like, they're, they're, it's really easy to accidentally hurt a bunny like that. Hey, stop it. Dude, he's biting all the cords. He's now he's trying to kill a dragon. Okay, ready? Cobalt. Ready? Two, three, go get. Him. Get up. Don't eat the dragon. You are insanity incarnate. You're crazy, dude. I can't. I can't. Yeah, huh? Ooh, I gotta do a backcracker. Oh, I'm free. Okay. Um. Some, I had a, something I wanted to say, but I can't remember the words. Oh, well, maybe I'll remember it eventually. EBG Studios, I got something even better for you. EBG Studios said that they always thought of this as 3D printing, but with yarn instead. It's 3D printing. Big brain here. Big brain, full of puns. <laughs> We're 3D printers, baby. You know what's exciting too? Is that robots can't crochet. I mean, like maybe eventually you could teach a robot to crochet, but it'd be a very big undertaking. Three, four, five. And so like, why would you basically? Um, it's just like the, the motor skills that you need to crochet are very specific for human beings. So how cool, it's like a thing that, like in a world where computers are going to be able to do pretty much everything that we can do with AI and all this jazz. Crochet might be one of the few things that a robot won't be able to do, which is kind of exciting. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. If anybody asks where you got it though, you give me credit. No, I'm just kidding. You do you. I agree. I think that is exactly why Jimbo's acting up is because he misses Jules. Oh, this right here is a very slobbery piece of yarn. I'm sure it came like that. And it look at it, it's even darker. <laughs> I'm sure it came like that. It has nothing to do with a cat eating my yarn. Couldn't. Couldn't be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jimbo, you're doing great over there. Don't come over here. No, go away. Go away. I do this. I I I do this joke to Jules all the time. Where I'll go. I'll pretend I'm a little. <laughs> I'll pretend I'm a little French girl. And I'll be like, No, go away. Do not. You cannot. No, go away. I don't know why, guys. I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know. I'm a weird dude. I say weird things. Uh, how would you do that? What, what, I, I don't know. How would I do what? SF. I, I lost track of my... Oh, can bunnies be made into finger puppets? Oh, totally. Yes, absolutely. You could turn these into finger puppets. That's, that's actually not even a difficult... That, that'd be pretty easy. Um, if you want to check out my, 
I have a video tutorial for finger puppets. Um, you can find it, I think, by just going to clubcrochet.com slash finger puppets, or you can go to my channel and uh, just look at my look through my videos. It's one of my videos there. Um, it's really easy though. All you basically need to do is get to um, the last round of crochet where you have 12 stitches around um, after you do your next round of decreasing. And then you basically make another piece that's like a little tiny finger and then you put it into the center and then you sew it around. Uh, it's really easy though. And I think the video tutorial goes through everything you'll need to learn how to do it. Um, so check that out if you wanna turn your bunnies into little finger puppets and do a little finger puppet show of little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, snatching up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the great fairy and she said, little bunny foo foo, I don't wanna see you snatching up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'll give you three chances, little bunny foo-foo, and after that, I'm turning you into a new. I sang that to Jules the other day. I sang the whole thing to Jules. It drove her crazy. Uh, <laughs> but, um, and she was like, what even is that? I was like, you've never heard of little bunny foo-foo? Has anybody else heard of little bunny foo-foo? Or was that the first time you've ever heard of Little Bunny Foo Foo? Let me know. Okay, we're doing more eyes now. Let's do six millimeter eyes looking outwards so that it looks like a very dumb rabbit. A dingus. A ding dingaroo. Oh, Cooper, you didn't have to do, thank you. Cooper just put in the chat a, uh, a, um, a link to the finger puppet video. He become witchy boy, he becomes a goon? I thought he became a newt. I thought she turned her little bunny foo foo into a newt. Is it really a goon? That's weird. What's a goon even? Like a, what's a goon? Jimbo, what are you doing? Don't, don't act like you're innocent. He's like, he came down right between my legs, looked at the yarn and then looked up at me like, nothing. I ain't doing nothing, boss. I ain't doing nothing. I promise I, I, I ain't gonna eat the yarn. I, I don't wanna mess you up or nothing. Lies. Lies. Invented chocolate. I always hated it. I guess a goon is like must be like a go like like a bad guy's like like help, you know, like a like a goon. Like Batman beats up goons. You know? Maybe? I don't know. New Trang, that's her, their first time hearing Little Bunny Foo Foo. Well, that's crazy. Because Little Bunny Foo Foo been hopping through the forest, sweeping up them field mice and bopping them on the head for probably decades, I don't know. Probably forever. There we go. There we go. Is that the accent Jimbo has? I don't know. I give accent, I give Jimbo the weirdest voices. Usually I pretend he talks like, hello, my name is Jimbo. I'm Jimbo. But then sometimes I'm like, we call him because he purrs so loud. <laughs> and he and he always falls asleep like right on your chest right here. So sometimes we call him motorboat Jim. Because he sounds like a motorboat. And also because motorboat. Uh and and motorboat Jim sound like this. Hey, how you doing? I'm motorboat Jim. Looking for a friend. You looking for friends? Yeah, well, I do. I do declare, my fuzzy friend, you are very cute. He's falling asleep. He's falling asleep. I should have called him Shadow because of how much he follows you around everywhere. 
Ain't no Jimbo like Jimbo. There ain't no one like me but me. Isn't that right, Jimbo? How <laughs> you tried to put the lyrics to Little Bunny Fufu on the chat? That's funny. If you're looking for the lyrics to Little Bunny Fufu, just Google. Google. I heard a, I think I heard a squirrel running across the roof. Yeah, Little Bunny Fufu is not a chill, not chill. He's got no chill. All right, look at that. We got our nose for shows. Next, we gotta add the nostrils of the nose. Let's do, yeah, let's do a white nose. What do you think of that? You wanna try a little white nose? This yarn is covered in cat spit, which as we know, bunnies love cat spit. Yeah. They love cat spit. Who doesn't though, really? It's great. <laughs> hey, Long Longs, how are you doing? Thank you for joining. What type of amigurumi tongues have I made so far? And what's my favorite one? What an interesting question. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I've done a bunch of different kinds of tongues. I've done tongues for like little tiny tongues for, for bonimals. I've done bigger tongues for like dragons and snakes and I've done ones for hey that's pretty cute right there that's pretty cute I've done ones for like um like our what are you doing ones for um like like the the mimic that we made a couple weeks ago yeah one for Big tongues for puppets and stuff. It's my favorite kind of tongue. I, I don't know. I guess maybe the ones for the Mimic, just because they, they curl really well. Like they look like this. I like this one a lot because of how that one looks. I just think it fits really well with the design. So maybe that one. What a unique question though. A very unique question. You bring forth a very unique question. All right, next we do, we adding the bunny ears for to hear with. For to be hearing with. You had a cat named Doofus? I love that. What a cute name for a cat. That's you should be your name, Jim. Oh my God. Oh my God, can I show you this? Okay, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do this and it might be hard to get it back. You're gonna see the messiness of what's going on outside of the camera angle, but I don't know if I can do, I don't know if I can get this angle right, but we can try. Can you see him? It's right down here. No, you can't see him. Dang. Oh well, he's asleep upside down. And he just looks like a cloud. It's really nice. It's really great. Oh, I wish everybody could witness the this this beautiful beast. Sunshine. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sunshine. But thank you so much for joining and, and saying hi. I appreciate that, and, and I'm so sorry that you've got some family issues going on right now, but I hope that everything works out well, and I hope to see you again in live stream soon. And thanks again for popping in and just saying hi. I'll make sure that uh, Jack Gurgle knows that you came to say hi. Jackery Gurgle. Okay. 
What am I doing for dinner, you guys? What am I gonna do to eat the foods? Maybe I should make something. I haven't made something. I, yesterday I went out to eat. The day before that I went out to eat. I should probably start to save money and not to go out to eat. It's just, it's hard when Jim, or when Jules isn't here because it's hard to make food just for one person, you know? Oh, but you know what? I have some frozen fish. I'll maybe I'll do that. How, what is it like listening to the inner monologue of a weird dude? <laughs> is there anything that you can't crochet? I haven't found it yet. I, I have not been able to not crochet. I mean, you can make like really anything. I, I think the limitations are not much. I think the only things you can't crochet are things that are like practical. Like you can make a hammer, you can crochet a hammer, but you can't crochet a hammer. You probably can't crochet a hammer that works like a hammer. Well, I guess you probably could, but it'd be more difficult. Dude, what was that? You wake yourself up? Jeez. Taco salad. That's actually, oh my gosh, a taco. Oh, burritos sound really good right now. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, I can't make a burrito though. Is this enough for a bobble stitch? Let's find out. I don't know if it is or not. And if it's not, that's okay. I might. One, hey, two. Eight. I think she was going into a spot. Okay, let's check the let's check the cat cam. No, no, he's probably just staring out the window. You can definitely crochet a ball of yarn. <laughs> That's silly. You could. Oh, is it a bear? I know. I need to upload this bear pattern to the website actually, as one of the different kinds of animals to add because I have these little tiny bears but I also want to do bigger bears too there's so many things I want to crochet it's it's like it's hard it's hard because there's so much there is a cat cam yes there is but he's not in his spot yet nah he's licking his bum staring out the window at birds But he'll be in his cat spot soon. That's his favorite spot. We call it the Jimbo throne. I wish Phoebe was up here. Phoebe is our other cat and she's so cute and sweet, but she, she's very shy. Whereas Jimbo is our social butterfly. maybe okay so we got maybe time for at least one more maybe two if we're lucky maybe two if we go simultaneously i don't know we have yellow and blue left um or we could do like a rainbow one. Oh, you know what let's do a rainbow one. Oh, do i have the rainbow yarn though i might be out i'll check does Phoebe ever sit in the Jimbo throne? No, no. I've never once seen Phoebe sit in the Jimbo throne. She's very scared of him, honestly. They they don't have the best. I mean, they're they're friendly. Sometimes they cuddle and and clean each other and stuff, but the Jimbo throne is definitely Jimbo's. She does not mess with it. Uh, and then in the same vein, uh, Phoebe, we call downstairs Phoebe's domain. Oh, here's Jimbo again. You're supposed to go lay in your bed so people can watch you sleep because it's cute. Did you not know? Did you not get the memo? You, you haven't checked your email, huh? What do you mean you don't check your... You should start checking your emails. 
Well, there could be important things on there. You don't know. You could be getting fan mail. Yeah, well, you should start checking your emails. It's not all spam. How do, because I know it's not all spam because sometimes I email you. Incoming call from my dad? Dad, 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 what are you doing? You know I'm live streaming. Okay, buddy. I understand your woes. I get it. You're having a difficult time. You're struggling with, with the Israel-Palestine situation and you need to figure it out. I get it. I get it. You have really difficult things you need to figure out. Climate change. What, what are we going to do? You know, I think what you should do is you should go into your Jimbo throne and you should really ponder upon the really, really serious issues that are going on today. Like, what time are you going to take a nap? You don't know. I love you too. Get out of there. So, uh, Jimbo and I have been doing this really fun thing where I brush him at night. I try to do it every day, but sometimes it's every other day. And then I weigh... Stop it. Don't eat that. He wants me to stop crocheting, so he's starting to eat my yarn. Um, so I brush him, and then I weigh how much I get off of him. So far, our record is 1.3 grams, which is pretty good. Stop eating the cords, dude. He's trying to stop the live stream because he wants to hang out. Does Jimbo have an email that we can send fan mail to? You can, I, I would love to see your your fan mail for Jimbo. Um, you can just send it to the contact email, contact.clubcrochet.com, and I'll make sure it gets to him. I would legitimate, that would be wonderful. That would mean a lot, actually, <laughs> if you want to make Jimbo fan mail. That would be so cool. And Jules would love that, too. Oh, my God. I hope someone actually does send us Jimbo fan mail. <laughs> oh, my God. Jules misses Jimbo a bunch. She is, I think that, I honestly think she misses the cats more than me, <laughs> which is understandable. Okay, let's finish up this bunny and then we'll do one more rabbit and then we'll call it for today. Two, three. I think three will have to be what we, what we go with for hiding at my mom's place. I do have a fourth rabbit that we can use, so I'll, maybe I'll do, I'll hide all four of them there. And then we'll tell her we hid six because there's nothing quite like messing with my mom. All right, there we go. Let's stuff our second bunny up. And for our last one, our options are green, yellow, or blue. Maybe rainbow if I can find my rainbow yarn. Let me look for the rainbow yarn before I do the vote, but we'll go ahead and vote on which color you guys want me to make next. The rest of this pink yarn. The stuffing. Let's go with a little bit more of this one. this oh we got some purple why not less waste great idea Cooper one bird but one new bunny every year in 30 years she's gonna be like no please please don't She'll wake up in the morning and she'll just be attacked by rabbits. Little crocheted bunnies. I love that. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. We shall infest her house with rabbits. Ha 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 ha. Do I have a Jimbo powder? Not yet, but dang, should I? I should have one. It's hard to crochet Jimbo because he's so fluffy and, and his colors are very st in strange locations 
but I know I could, I just haven't done it yet. I'll, I'll try to work on one though. There's our bunny numero dos. Wow, this one, yeah, this one definitely looks uh, much more derpy than the last one. <laughs> All right, next rabbit. Got our pole. Yellow, blue. And let's let's let me see if I have rainbow real quick. Cause I might. Orange. Oh oh oh! Yeah, we do. We do. We got enough rainbow. I have a feeling I know what you guys will vote on, but there is the question. What color should our last rabbit be? Uh, my, my mom has, I think, four bunnies, maybe five, because I think I've hid more. I don't know. She gives them away every now and then, too. Do I accept fan mail? Like if you made a jumbo chubzilla, could you send it to me? I mean, here's the thing, Ivy, you absolutely can. And I definitely wouldn't mind it. Like I'll, I'll accept it, but I have so much crochet that sending me your crochet is, it won't, I, I mean, I'll love it, but I feel like it would mean more to someone else that has that like, isn't a crocheter you know what i mean like if you were to send a jumbo chubzilla to like your niece or something like i bet you they would love 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 that because they don't know how to crochet and they have never made one whereas i have some i mean again i'll i'll accept them for sure i definitely have accepted fan mail before like this someone made me a little louis loops logo and i have i have some cross stitching that people have made me. Um, wall art is, I think, uh, an easier thing for me to accept, but I'll definitely accept some crochet if you want, uh, if you really want to send it. Okay, what are we voting on for the last rabbit color? It's only got 14 votes so far, but you know what? They're like all for rainbow. So maybe we should just get started. Let's go ahead and end it. Because I knew, you know what? I don't even know why I asked. Everybody's going to choose rainbow. A lot of people chose green, though. Good for you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so there are a lot. You have a lot of them. Susan! You can't get access to the Bonhamel ebook now. Hmm. That shouldn't be the case. It might be that your account... Has, I don't know. You know what? Email me, Susan. Uh, I'd really like to figure that out. Um, email me at louis at clubcrochet.com and I'll help you figure that out right after this live stream. Because uh, you absolutely should get access to the to that pattern. It might be that you're not logged in or it might also be that your account, if you had a pro membership that ended on April 1st because I gave you a free uh, Club Crochet membership, um, so that could also be it. I don't really know though, to be honest. We're at a hundred likes. We're aiming for 250 if we can. I might lower that because I really want to give away some of these, uh, some of these Jimbo pins. But we will see. Yeah. Right. It's a pretty good start for a rainbow. Little 
ears. One ear done. Now we can start to really fly because we've made two of them. Once you get two of these made, I, I just like, it like revamps how, how to make them, you know? You're like, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. One, two, three, four, five. I like this color for this ear. I'm, I'm gonna cut this yarn here because this just looks like weird brown. So I'm gonna go to here where it starts to become blue because that just looks weird. Uh, if you like the video, if this video gets enough likes, then I'll do another, I'll do a giveaway in the next live stream. So that's how it kind of works. Hi, Amaze Speed. Welcome back. I saw you in the very, very start. How are you doing? How is your day so far? This song is nice. Pretty chill. Pretty chill. There we go, that's a little bit more rainbowy. Okay, next up is our snout, or jowls, as it's called in the pattern. So fast. Speedy goes so fast. All right, we'll do SF. Thank you so much for joining. Cool. I hope to see you in the next live stream, SF. Again, thank you for. I know this was a new thing for you, and I, I really appreciate you hanging out for so long. Same as you, Ivy. Thank you for joining. You have a great rest of your night as well. Maybe I'll see you next week. All right, there's our second snoot. Our first snoot, but third snoot. So many snoots. So many snoots, I don't know what it's all about. Shoot. Shoot. Have I ever sewn a tattoo on an amigurumi? I have actually. Uh, Susan, do you need to be a pro member to access the Bonimal ebook? No, you don't. You just need a regular membership. There's actually no such thing as a pro membership anymore. I canceled those at the end of the year. So you just need a regular membership. It Again, it might be that your membership ended in April because I gave you a free membership for, uh, if you were a pro member, I gave you a free membership for the uh, first three months of the year just to thank you for becoming, for being a Club Crochet pro member. So that could be it. Um, again, please email me, louis at clubcrochet.com, and I'll help you figure that out. Uh, New Trang, what are we doing next week? Good question. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but if I were to guess, it would be something new. Um, I have a few new patterns that I've been working on that uh, could be ready to release next week, uh, maybe. So... Could be something like that um i but one i'm not 100 percent sure yet so i don't know but we'll be crocheting something three one more four there we go one eye Two, 
two. This one. Ding, ding, ding. Sonia, how are you doing, Sonia? Welcome to the stream. Right near the end. Good timing. Okay, look at that. We're we're going much faster now. Wow, it's only been like a second. Good, 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 good. Oh, I forgot to make our teeth too with our white yarn. I'll do that in a second. Thank you. <laughs> You're very sweet, Autism Matters. I, I appreciate you. I do, th I, I mean, I don't disagree. I think I am very good at crocheting. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I better be at this point. Can you imagine if I wasn't and I was still? That would be rough. Look at how cool this rainbow is though. It's such a cool color. Ooh, good finger crack. Good finger crack. My fingers, they are cracky. Hey, thank you for subscribing, Julia. Or Julie. I don't know if you're in the chat, but thank you for subscribing. Another increase here. I like it when it turns to blue. It's a very nice shade. This is all the rainbow yarn I have left. It's actually probably enough for a couple of bunnies though. Where is Jimbo? He is, he is sitting on, a, on one of the couches because he doesn't understand that he's got he's not on set buddy you have to be in your spot he just doesn't want to listen he has been uh, very noisy though and he's finally asleep so I'm not I'm, I'm gonna try to not uh, not uh, get the wrath of Jimbo avoid it because as you know the wrath of Jimbo is rough hey uh, here's my plea again if you haven't yet like this video down below Ooh, a peach bunny would be very cute like a peach colored one that would be really cute not a bad idea like this color yeah Ooh, I want peach tea it's a nice warm day I could definitely go for some tea. Whee! Wrath of Jimbo does sound like a movie title. Or a book or something. All right.
leave that one a little longer. Okay, at her eyes. I think we should just do this one normal, like our first one, because it's just so cute. And and a rainbow one, I feel like a rainbow bunny needs to be adorable, you know? Not, not too weird. It needs to be cute. See, this might make him a little cro more cross-eyed than I'm aiming for, but that's okay. Lene, yes it is. It's super warm down here. It's like, I think it's like 74 degrees outside right now. Ooh, Sonia, horchata sounds amazing. I could totally go. Oh man, and now I was talking about burritos and now horchata. You know what? I am going to go get a burrito on horchata. That sounds like a really, really good idea. What do you call an adorable door? Adorable? <laughs> That's silly. Uh, is it warm? Yeah, yeah, but yes, it's still warm. You still have snow though? That's crazy. Where are you at, Lene? You don't have to be specific, but just like, where-ish are you at? I'll tell you what though, here in California, it has been crazy with weather. I, I've never, I've lived in California my whole life. I've never seen it raining so much. It's wild. It's all over the all over the state. It's been like, wow, what is happening here? Like we we go through great like honestly, the past like decade has been just like a drought. And now it's been like, oh my god, that's a lot of rain. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, yeah. All right, there is our other eye, looking very cross-eyed. Super cute though, super duper cute. Okay, next we need to add, oh, that's right, we never made a tooth. We need to make the teeth, a big old buck tooth. And then we can sew our face on. Yeah, I think a burrito sounds perfect right now. Utah. Yeah, Utah's Utah, yeah, you guys get, it gets real cold in Utah. But I'll tell you what, you got Zion National Park, and that that is one of the top 10 best national parks in the entire world. That is a good place to be. Honestly, Utah in general is pretty nice. I mean, other than it being freezing cold. A lot of nice people and a little bit weird sometimes, but I do like Utah. But oh my god, I bet you Zion National Park is freezing cold right now. Okay, tooth. Kind of looks like a little duck, duck bill, a little bit. You can do a little chick really easy with that. Look at that. It could just be a little chick. Um, all right, next is our nose, our snurs. Let's see, what color not like nose should we do, do you think? Any, any suggestions out there? I'm thinking pink, like this hot pink again, because it's not really used in the pattern or in the rainbow very much, so it'll stand out. Um, purple is the same way. It's not really in this pattern, so or the colors, so maybe purple would look good. Uh, yeah, any suggestions? 84 degrees. Nutrang, where are you? Four degrees is warm for, well, I guess we're in April, so things should be starting to warm up, but that's like really warm. Are you in like Arizona or something? Oh, I believe you. I believe you, Lene. You are not weird. I trust you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, 
Red. Ooh, red nose. A red nose could work. That could be interesting. Oh, my uncle is moving to Virginia, actually. Wow, that's like really warm. I, I For some reason, I always thought Virginia got like really, really, really cold and like stayed cold forever. <laughs> Dark purple says the amaze feed. I'm kind of on the purple train too. Because, well, first off, it's one of my favorite colors in the world. But also, it's one of the colors that, like, I have at hand and is not in this thing. Like, I don't have red. Well, I guess I have red over there. I can use that. Red's not a terrible idea. We, we should have done an albino bunny with red eyes. That would have been cool. And if I had enough time, I would do it. But the more we talk about burritos, the more... The less time I feel like I have. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Rabbit. <laughs> Your adorable door joke again. <laughs> He's such a... <laughs> You're a dork. <laughs> and I mean that in the best way possible because I'm very much a dork. Okay, there we go. One. And here will be our double knot. Nice. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, no, the nose. Okay, let's try red, see how it looks. If I don't like it, we'll change over to green. I'm not green, uh, purple. Actually, red is pretty cute. That would be, that'd be pretty cute. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Jimbo, go in your throne. Right. That is pretty cute. Not gonna lie. That's pretty cute. Pretty cute, pretty cute. You weren't wrong. You weren't wrong, Lene. You weren't wrong. Do I say Yas Queen? <laughs> I guess sometimes. I have a friend that says Yas Queen a lot. so it's a little bit more noticeable. Yes, 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 yes. That's very cute. Very, very cute. Okay. Keep on crocheting on. What do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? What do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? Hmm. I don't know. What? Sophisticated. 
That's that's good. I like that one a lot. I'm gonna use that one. That's great. That's 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 perfectly dumb. I love it. Sophisticated. So so silly. That is right up my alley for jokes. All right, cut there. All right, last little bit here for our last rabbit for today. And I'll try to be back next week. Um, I'm not sure what the live stream is going to be, but if we do a live stream next week, it'll be Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss it when we come out with live streams. And please. Okay, thanks. But we still got a second left. I still got to stuff and finish crocheting and stuff. Oh my gosh, I've been watching this show, um, Ghosts, on CBS. And, dude, I'm obsessed. I love that show. I, I, like, at first I was like, oh, I just need something to watch before Jules gets back. I watched the entire two seasons in, like, legitimately, I think, I think, like, less than a week. Just kept watching it. It's so good. So I really like that show a lot. Has anybody ever seen that? It's like a show about like this mansion with ghosts in it and then one of the people can see the ghosts. It's a fun one. scary no it's funny it's a it's a very very funny show it's silly not scary at all that cat cam perfect timing the boy the boy perfect timing have I ever seen Ghostbusters heck yes I've seen Ghostbusters I love Ghostbusters it's a great movie I actually haven't seen the new one though or the one before that like the, you know how there was like one with like Christian Wig and stuff? I heard that one wasn't very good. And then I didn't see the new, new one with the guy from, the kid from uh, Stranger Things. I didn't see that one either. I don't know how good that one was. I know, look at how good of a boy he is. He's so sleepy. Such a good sleepy boy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff these in there right now. Too. All right. Last 
last round. Desiree, hi, how are you? Oh my gosh, it's been a while. How you been? Ooh. Oh wow, what a neck crack, oh my gosh. Hi Desiree. Alan A, hey, how you doing? Floofy Kitty, that's right. Fire Country, I don't think I've ever seen Fire Country. I'll have to check that out. I've, I've never heard of that. What is my favorite song? Um, my favorite song is uh, a song from an artist, artist called Blossom Deary, and it's called They Say It's Spring, and it goes, they say it's spring. This feeling light as a feather They say this thing This feeling we share together Comes with the weather too Uh, that's my favorite song But I have a lot of favorite songs, honestly It's hard to choose, like, absolute favorites Um, I also really like Um I don't know what the name of it is in English, but it goes, Ep pao, ep pedra, ep piro camino. El has de tiktok, ep poco suazin. I don't know what I'm singing, but I really like that song a lot. You made a little amigurumi cannoli? <laughs> That's fun. That's a fun one. Why'd you make a cannoli? What a weird, what a weird, funny thing to do. I love it. Did you put a face on it even? I wonder. I wonder. Boondaba. Okay. Uh, let's add our little magnets in here. And sew it closed. And then we'll rock and roll. And I'm gonna go get a burrito. I agree with you, Trang. I can't wait to do that pattern too. Pod people pattern. I will work on it. has a cute face oh cafe crochet that's fun all right there is our last bunny for today our rainbow bunny so now we've got wait let's see if i can get this out there we go so we got our pink bunny our purple bunny and a rainbow bunny I will keep you guys updated. I think I'm also gonna add in this blue bunny to hide at their place too. So I'll keep you updated on how this goes, but it definitely the plan is I'm gonna hide these in my mom's house in a bunch of different places and not tell her that I hid them and she'll just slowly start finding them. And it's gonna be so fun and I can't wait. Um, hey guys, thank you so much again for joining and crocheting along with me. Uh, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Uh, I honestly was looking forward to today, uh, like for like a week and a half because I just miss you and I just like doing these. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, again, if you haven't yet, make sure to like and subscribe down below. If you want to crochet these bunnies, I'll keep the light, the pattern free until Sunday. So if you want to make them, you have until Sunday to crochet along with me. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy Easter if you're celebrating Easter. Uh, and regardless, happy hooking, pasta la pizza. No, you hang up first. And yeah, I think that's it. All right. You subscribe. Thank you, animationer. Bye, 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 bye. Let's let's finish up by watching Jimbo for a little bit. Just a just a little bit. Just a little bit of this. Oh my. God, I mean, look at that dude. What a sweet baby boy. Oh, I love him. 
I'm gonna go pet him real quick and then I'm gonna switch it to the Dunting and actually say bye bye. Bye.